listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Project Runway After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Project Runway After yeah, Show. Season 12, episode 8. Hey guys, welcome to another Project Runway Season 12, Episode 8 Recap. I'm Virginia, and I'm so glad to be back. I've been gone for a while, and I have my lovely co-host, Steph. Say hi. Hey, I'm Steph Z. So anyway, it's just us two tonight. Alina and Amanda can't make it. They totally miss us, but they'll be back next week. Um, and so, yeah, let's just get right into it. Tonight we are sporting a little bit of a more... Well, sporty look, I guess. There you go. Because <laughs> it is the Field Day Sporty Challenge. I love these challenges because it's, you know, it's another part of fashion that is, you know, a huge, like a huge piece of it that we don't see. Like not everything is on the runway or, you right. know. So the fact that they have to make these real women pieces that, you know, I could wear, you could wear, we could just buy online is really, really fun to see what they're going to come up with. Um, so this episode is titled Having a Field Day, and it starts with Tim coming in his referee outfit, um, waking everybody up at like 6 a.m. What would you do if Tim Gunn came in a referee outfit, like waking you up? I, I might laugh. Yeah, they all they all kind of did. Yeah. I would um, be like, what? Drop push-ups? What? What are we doing here? Are we in the <laughs> right, army? <laughs> right? Like, well, it's just a hit, like... I don't know. He's like one of the least athletic people I could think of to be. Totally. Well, I mean, so. that makes sense why he's the ref, I guess. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, if you can't play, at least ref. Uh, he didn't come in uniform. He came <laughs> as a ref. I'm going to tell right. you what's going on and tell you when you're messing it up. Exactly. Which he's very good at doing that. Yeah, and so we immediately, um, like, the thing that stood out, well, not really stood out to me, but, you know, Ken's already given his little attitude of, like, I don't like sports, blah, 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 I don't do sports. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I don't really feel like Ken does a lot of anything other than kind of whine Bitch. and complain. Yeah. You know, like, he hated the camping challenge, and, you know, then he was like, oh, okay, camping wasn't so bad. Mm. You know? And you so, know, you know what, too, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but no with bad. Ken, it, it's crazy to me because... He does, like, for lack of a better word, bitch about a lot of stuff. And it's crazy because when we were talking about this earlier, both of us being people that have, you know, worked in the fashion industry, successfully in the fashion industry, and it's like his attitude is really, like, I'm shocked that he's been on the show for so long with such a poor attitude because that usually shines through. And I feel like a lot of his attitude is insecurity in a way because, I mean, like, even tonight, like, I mean, not to jump to it, but we see a more sensitive side of him. So I feel like he's he's operating from fear. So when he doesn't know sports, he doesn't like it. He doesn't know camping, he doesn't like it. But it's like if he would just relax and trust his, his skills or his talents or whatever, and just make the best of it because like you said like you don't always design like ready to wear pieces are not what it walks down the runway mostly and you know what you don't make money unless you have something that people are gonna buy you know and that's a really good point you bring up because I feel like all of these designers know what they're getting into they know they're gonna have unconventional challenges they know they're maybe gonna be designing for men like they know they're gonna be having stuff thrown at them that they're not used to doing but they still seem to kind of like point it out like oh this is my first time doing activewear well yeah you and everybody else because none right. of them are activewear designers right and I really like that though I, 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 this is my favorite challenge and probably because even though you say like we dress sporty tonight like I'm always sporty so <laughs> it's just I go I do comfort but um it, it is it's it's a different, it's, a, it's something very, very different because it, it really is something simple. So they have to take a, a simple look, so to speak, and make that cool by color, by lines. Like they really have to like bare bones where their design comes from and stand out in the same breath, which I think is kind of hard to do, which we saw for a few people is really hard to do. Well, and with activewear, I feel like it is becoming more of a fashion thing like you see like lululemon it's a huge brand people wear that just to go to whole foods now like yeah. i mean you see that everywhere you're not necessarily working out you're just yeah. looking and like a sporty girl yeah even stuff like free city and stuff like that like 150 dollars pair of sweatpants like right. there is a fashion like free city's in scoop in in 
all kinds of stores they they have like a huge display so it is this this comfort but this like fashionable comfort um that you know i think is coming back more and more people are people are getting the clue that being comfortable is fun well and you know i always want to look cute when i go to the gym you know like i'm always right. like there are just, you know, there's people that just want to wear it to look cute out of the gym, but then there's the people that want to look cute at the gym, and I feel right. it, fall into that. So it also does need to be functional, right. you know? And so I really appreciated the people that put the thought into it tonight, where I was like, oh, that's cute. I could totally wear that to the gym, toss it on over, you right. know? And so it takes a little bit of both. I think it does, and I think I think that's exactly, like, for me, that takes a little bit of both. Like, versatility in fashion and looking good is amazing. You know what I mean? It's like, you want to be someone that you can dress up like male or female you want to be able to you know female get in the dress and you know go to the nines and look hot but also look cute in the sweats same thing with a dude like you want a dude that can look good in a suit and tie and dressed up nice but also looks cool like hanging out at the gym you know what I mean like a lot of people I feel like don't have the versatility and I think versatility is like one of the most attractive things right um, that people can have is being able to to pull both off Absolutely. And, you know, I think tonight we really see how, you know, some people only could do one. Like, you know, we see that, oh, well, yeah, they made the racer back, you know, tank and that was all good and fine. But then they forgot the fashion part of it or they did right. the fashion part and they didn't do the function part. So um, anyway, so enough about that. Let's right. get into how it works. So we had Tim come in. He told everybody that they were going to do team challenges of um, a, an obstacle course. And, you know, when I first heard team challenge, I was like, oh, no, they're going to be stuck together the whole um, the whole time. But they let them know, no, it's only for this. And when you do these challenges, like the three legged walk, all, I mean, they're all kind of fun things that you get to do, like in, you know, elementary school field day yeah. stuff. Um, you know, so I, I don't know. I just thought it would just give them an instant kind of almost like this is what we should be wearing to our what we need to design for people to wear, kind of. Like, it put right. them in that mindset. So that's why I didn't understand why Ken was so upset about it, because it's like, you know, by putting on these New Balance clothes that they gave them, they were then saying, okay, you know, I want my shirt, I wish it would breathe better, or, you know, do this better, or have a pocket here. You right. know, so that was kind of my, why well, I was a little sad that they were so... I don't know. Yeah, he was a little bit bent out of shape. And it, I, I think it was a very fun... I like obstacle courses. I Who like doesn't? the whole, Right. Like I, but I we're like, both like sporty We girls. are. We totally are sporty. But I feel like... Like, I like they, again, have been taken out of their comfort zone in a way, though, that completely applies to the challenge. Absolutely. And it's, and it's, but this one was, like, fun. Like, they were just digging around in the blow-up pools. You know what I mean? Like, trying to find... Every, you know, it was just... It was very fun. And I feel like, you know, especially like Ken, if he would just relax into it, he could actually enjoy it. And then it would allow him just to, to do, you know, to show his talent rather than, you know, scream and yell and, and look crazy. And he, they look like, he even looked like he was having a good time. I, I kind of wish I could have got to do that. Yeah. Um, so anyway, they tell them that whoever is the first team to win, they get to, that they get two perks. The first is they get to choose their fabric right. and they get an entire extra hour, which, you know, can be huge when you're down to the wire there um, because it is a one day challenge. And um, so they have to create a fashionable activewear look for Heidi's line and New Balance. And it will actually be sold in the stores and online, which is huge because this is the first time that they are actually getting their garments to be worn or sold in right. stores. Which I think is really interesting. And, and both of us, have, we've covered other fashion shows together, like Fashion Star was about getting, you know, the clothes into stores and stuff. And I do. I think it's very interesting because, you know, that's the end goal. Right. The end goal is to get your clothes to you know, orders. On people. Yeah, on people. So, Steph, I just want to ask, since you, you know, you've sold your stuff, how amazing is it to see, like, have you seen people wearing your stuff and you're like, hey, I designed that. That's pretty cool. I have. I have. And I do, I do, I do still to this day actually see people. And it's kind of weird, you know, like, I'm so the girl that's very, um, I don't know, like, it, like chill. to me, it, yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah, chill in a way, but to, like, I still, like, I don't think it, it's really, like, soaked in that, like, I sold my clothes at Saks and Neiman's and, you know, Bloomingdale's and Nordstrom's and overseas, and you know what I mean? And then I right. did a line for Warner Brothers, and I did a line for JC Penney, and I've, I've experienced all these things, and for, for some reason, and I actually like the fact that it doesn't resonate with me because it keeps me wanting to do more rather than just getting comfortable. Right. Um, but, yeah, and it's like, you know, what's really cute is, like, people send me pictures like stand like this dude's in front of me and one of the coolest ones was because I would see them out places but 
when I, I live in Venice and I was at like my local bar and like there was a dude in my local bar wearing one of my shirts. So I was kind of like the people around me appreciate me. Like it was this weird thing. So it, it, it's pretty it's a pretty cool thing to see. Awesome. Yeah. So anyway, so that that's kind of how this all brings it. And they get, you know, and some of these designers are very new designers, so they've never actually had their clothes, you know, sold right. in some sort of major way. This, um, so this is, you know, their opportunity, kind of like the first time to get that um, out there in their career. So anyways, um, they get paired up, and we immediately see Justin and Dom, which I think they're just like a cute little pair. Yeah. I don't know. There's just something like upbeat about Dom that I love. She's always just... She's like, go team. Yeah. No always. matter, no matter like what's thrown at her, she's like, go team. And, no and drama. And I'm going to kill it. Yeah, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to yeah. do what I need to do to get it done. Yeah. And, and if you're slacking, don't worry about it, because I'm going to pick you up and get it done. Right. She's got that attitude, yeah. which is awesome. Like, I just want to be your best friend. Kind of, yeah. Dom, okay. you should come. Yeah, call us. Come talk us. to us. Hang out. Um, okay, so then we have Jeremy and Alexander, and I lo Jeremy was, like, excited about it. He's like, yeah, like, he looks like he could be athletic. And, I mean, you think, like, a big, like... I mean, Alexander looks like he could be athletic, so I see why Jeremy was a little excited, but then, <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah. And then we see um, Helen and Brayden. I, like, I, I'm starting to really love Helen. At Me first, too. I, like, she was just, I don't know, I was kind of she scared was rough. of her. I she was, was like, too rough. I feel like she could kick my butt, you yeah. know, but she's such a sweetheart. It's like, she how is. can you not love her? And that ponytail you she were talking about. She looks super cute with that little, like, pony on top of her hair. I was just like, you look like like me 10 years ago <laughs> like that like I totally felt like that you know yeah. like when I used to have long hair but yeah I feel like we've all and, and I think too for her it's she's getting more comfortable and trusting herself and being more her in the beginning she was like vroom, with the walls up right well and I think you know that brings back to how you were saying that um Ken is just having some insecurities because that's yeah. kind of how she was she was like I hate Kate like for no reason she just hated like, Kate. right off the bat like you see the plane land I hate Kate and yeah. I was like wow this girl's mean but but then she's like so sweet now yeah. so and it, it's kind of funny because i feel like it almost creates us to dislike them so there's no disappointment if they if they go home right you know what i mean so they'll already be like oh they don't like me like they can in create in their head why it's okay if they get sent home if they're like asses from the beginning right you know what i mean which <laughs> yeah. is You're so like, ah, well we didn't want him right there won't be that big of a deal it's like a protection thing they're doing i feel like right um and then we see kate and alexandria and i thought it was funny because kate was like well we're not gonna win this because my legs aren't even as long as hers because they had to do like the three yeah. <laughs> challenge i was like good point good point and then we have um karen and ken which immediately ken was like oh do i have to work with her and so we just knew that wasn't gonna work out yeah um, so, you know, they get started on the races and everything, and Justin and Dom win. It's a really short race, um, and I just, I was so happy that they won because I feel like, I don't know, like you said, they're just like the cute cheerleading team that, you know, kind of deserves a little extra. Yeah, they just have a good attitude. Yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of people from the beginning's attitudes have shifted, and not that everybody was really bad, but a lot of people's attitudes have shifted more so to be open, to learn from each other, to encourage each other, you know what I mean? And there's a few, like Ken and, you know, that just, that aren't in that spot, and it's disappointing. So, I, you know, I do like that the attitude and dom prevails and she won yeah and you know, you know i i wonder if that's because like you know like sandro left he was like the big drama that like always right. kind of like i feel like when there is drama going on sometimes you can't shut it out right. you know and i feel like the more that goes away they can kind of you know be a team together and help each other out right um so maybe that's you know which is crazy because i understand that people might like ken being on the show still because drama makes good tv but for me I'm ready for him to be gone because I'm ready to see the designers learning from each other. I'm ready to see more collaboration. Like, I'm ready to see what things can, like, a lot of time is spent deflecting his negative energy rather than seeing what, you know, all those amazing designers in one room would, would talk about or come up with. You know what I mean? Like, I feel it's almost like a disservice to right. have his attitude there. No, I completely agree. And, you know, like, we'll talk about this when we get into the, we get into the workroom part of it. But, yeah, it's just really unfortunate that, you you know, like that takes up the other designer's time. Exactly. Okay. So anyway, so yeah. we'll get back to Justin and Dom. They win the challenge. Um, Tim tells them that 
um, you know, Helen had won the immunity, but this was the last, that was the last immunity challenge before then. So she is the last one to win immunity right. and have it. So moving forward, no more immunity. Um, so Justin and Dom, they get to pick their fabric. Of all of the different fabrics, um, they're going to have $50 taken from their bank account because they're donating it for New Balance. So they all have, you know, the same kind of blacks and grays and greens and, you know, right. the... It's the most Lycra. equal challenge from yeah. from the beginning, kind of. Absolutely. I feel like. Yeah. Because you kind of just have to. You all get the same stuff, just yeah. maybe different colors, different texture. Exactly. You know? And, you know, whatever you can think of. And they had 30 minutes to sketch. Yeah. Okay. So. The other thing, real quick, before we go on, that I wanted to mention was Heidi's outfit. Heidi pulls off sporty. She's very so cute. well. Super cute. I'm not a bedazzle fan myself, but <laughs> she pulled it off. Yeah. It was, it was, it was refreshing to see her, like, comfortable for a minute not glamazon yeah 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 so well you know if you ever like i i don't know i read a lot of you know a like gossip type things no <laughs> <laughs> so you see her like you know looking sporty at the airport so yeah. i like her she casual keeps it real. style yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah she's versatile absolutely okay so speaking of something else i did want to say that tonight we are doing a special giveaway for our after buzz fans whoop, whoop. designer kate Gave us um, some shirts that are so, so cute. They say, um, one day you're in, the next day you're out. And then on the back it says, then approximately three months later you're back on. In. In. Because, you know, she came back. So, anyway, tweet us your favorite um, Kate moment from tonight or any other time. And we are just going to randomly select a winner to send those out to. And, Perfect. yeah, so she, um, they actually donated them to us from her... Um, the bridal store that she works up in Chicago. It's um, a lay of on. Sweet. Thank you, Kate. I mean, I didn't get one, but thanks anyway. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Aww. kidding. <laughs> and I'm sporting it tonight, yeah. too. Yeah. Virginia Sorry. got but one. But I've been on Team Kate since, You got like, married. You can have it. Ago. You can have it. You, you know, totally, I'm, you, I'm you earn spoiled. it. I'm spoiled. I can't help it. I was just being a little bit of a baby. I'll let it go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyway, moving on. So right when we get back to the workroom, they let them know that they have, you know, little samples that they can work with so that they can kind of see the different fits because a lot of people don't know the fits. And, you know, um, Helen kind of goes and talks with Tim and she's like, hey, you know, can we possibly use this? Oh, they said they couldn't cut them. They couldn't, you know, deconstruct them in any way. But, um, you know, they can use them for whatever purposes they feel like measuring, whatever. And well, he didn't, oh, he didn't say, say measuring. Yeah, yeah, but, like, I feel like that's exactly what they were implying. I feel like he was in, he was in, yeah. He was, like, why else would they be there? Like, they could have been pictures, if not. Right. You know or what I mean? Or they could have, yeah. I mean, because if it was on the mannequin, they could have taped yeah. around it. was it pretty much anything. like, here's our specs. If you're smart enough to use it. Right. And so then. Heidi will see that it looks exactly <laughs> like her stuff, and it will fit in the line, and it will sell better. So there you go. Exactly. Like, right. they gave them every single tool they could have imagined. Right. And, um, you know, and they gave them, like, books of this is what our line right. looks like. Um, you know, so I feel like they just really handed them so many tools as opposed to other challenges where they're like, come up with this, you know? Right. Um, you know, and so we see Helen go and, like, ask Tim sneakily, not too sneakily, but just, you know, sneakily. not out in the open. <laughs> right. Um, you know, like, hey, can we use, can we measure from this? And he was like, well, but he was basically like, uh, duh, that's why we gave them to you. He, yeah. In a nice way. In yeah, a he nice was like, Tim well, that's way. really smart, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, she comes back in with, like, a little grin, yeah. like, you know, I know something you don't know. Totally, <laughs> totally. But, I mean, that's... I would be that way too. Yeah, Maybe. but but again, that shows her like progression through the season. Like she wasn't like, oh, what do I do right away? She's like thinking right away. You know right. what I mean? Like she's let down that, and she's just trusting herself to think, and then she's acting on her instincts. Like, let me go ask if I can do this. Not being embarrassed. Like, do you think I can do this? Right. Well, so. and you know, like, and we even talked about it. Like. I would absolutely have thought of that. Like, how, I mean, but we've we, said how many times yeah, have Yeah, I mean, we, I guess they're designers, no, too. Well, right. But how many times have you, like, I mean, I know I've made outfits where I'm like, I love this exact cut of something. I'm going to either take it apart or just measure it and make a pattern from that. Totally. So, yeah. Well, but I think, too, because we've we've manufactured, like, a lot of designers don't do the manufacturing as well. Like, from, from my line, we had everything in-house, so we manufactured, so we would come, the fit model would come in, we would do grading, we would do all that stuff. So people might, a lot of people might not even know what grading is, which is just figuring out the different sizes from small through extra large or double X or whatever. So y'all didn't use a Gerber plotter? You actually did it yourselves? Yeah. Oh, dang. So it was just I've like, only made Halloween costumes. Uh, my fashion major was a little different. I did styling. Yeah. So I've never, like, yeah, my, yeah, my pattern making all. is from all my Halloween Yeah, and costumes. then we have the specs, and we do all that, but 
it. And it's very interesting to me. I'm, I'm very curious, actually, on if Heidi will change the specs for her her line. Like, you know what I mean? Like, granted, Helen won, her look won, but it, it, are her specs going to be the size? I doubt it. Like, probably. I, I'm, I'm sure probably she's got not. a standard pattern right. that she's going to do this, and her her small is usually this measurement, her medium is this measurement, her large is this measurement. Because then, like, you know, if you've only done it, you know, one way, you just bring your medium, and you know that grading is like an inch this way, an inch that way, or whatever, and then all your sizes are right. always that much bigger and that much smaller. Right. So that's how that works. Gotcha. Yeah. So, you know, but, but getting back to that. So Helen, you know, is super happy that Tim yeah. basically says, yeah, you can use, you know, and I think for, you know, something like this, that they've never used spandex or anything like, or, or whatever the case, you know, it is a good time to use, you know, someone else's pattern. And especially because it's supposed to fit in with everything yeah. else that's in that line. And, um, you know, Ken is like, what is going on? Like, what did you oh, ask? Yeah. And she, Helen's basically like, Nanya. Nanya. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Nanya. I'm writing that one down. And, you know, Ken loses his mind. He goes, you know. Ape shit. Yeah, I was going to say batshit crazy. <laughs> so, yes, he goes bonkers. And I was just like, oh, my gosh, she, she doesn't want to share her toy. And now he is flipping out. Um, what, yeah. what did you think of that whole madness? I mean, I thought it was really funny that Helen, like, last time <laughs> Helen got into a, I mean, I'm so team Helen right now, I think, too. Because it's like last time she got into, like, a banter like this was with Ken and Sandro and she was crying and yeah, it was, it was so Sandro dramatic. that went off on her. Yeah, it was so dramatic and this time someone's going off on her and she's like, I don't got time for this. Don't talk to me like that. This is disrespectful. And then she went and told somebody that actually might be able to do something about it rather than just putting fuel in the fire. Right, which is so smart. So smart. Like, like she's like, I'm feeling threatened because, I mean, I can understand that like as a girl, you don't know like if somebody is making threats against you, they could go crazy. Like, I mean, totally for him to flip like like that he could possibly hurt you yeah and i mean like she literally said you know uh this is sandro <laughs> part two and i'm not trying to get stabbed on project runway i love that which is a little, like <laughs> i mean i love that she said that i don't really think that that would have happened anyone would have let that happen well but and then if you true, true, if true. you really look at ken with that bow tie tattoo i don't think he's uh, gonna stab anybody it just sucks that bow tie tattoo <laughs> totally gave me love at first sight for ken and now it's like <laughs> crash and burn i sure his, know how to pick them his little goatee thing makes me just think of him as jafar like from aladdin that's all <laughs> i can think of and stare because it's like pointy i know i'm a disney fanatic so wow i have no idea what you're talking about what i, I don't, you've never seen aladdin i'm not a, uh, no okay well moving on for those yeah. of you that have seen it you know i'm exactly sorry what people i'm, I'm sorry about. Uh, okay. But then, afterwards, Ken takes a minute and goes and calls his mom or his soul mother, he said. His soul mother. So, yeah, so I don't know. Whatever that relationship is is none of our business. But, you know, <laughs> someone that he talked to pretty much was like, you need to get it together. And he was like, yes, ma'am. So you can tell he had a lot of respect for whoever he was talking to. And then he goes in and, you know, gets it together and apologizes, which I thought was big of him. So we'll see if he dabbles back into, like, bitchy Ken or if he stays in, like, I'm sorry, like, I got stressed out and can I have a hug Ken because I like hug Ken better than bitchy Ken yeah hugs not drugs yeah I'm, I like to hug yeah I I just feel bad for poor little Helen because I feel like she has taken an emotional beating from these guys and why her like see but i don't feel bad for her because she's holding her own and she, she you know is. what she's You're all right. of that has has she's grown so much because of all of that <laughs> why <laughs> you're just so team Helen. i'm totally you know because if, if everyone would have just been like coddling her or scared of her or like backed off because of her she wouldn't have grown as a designer and she wouldn't have like growing as a person you also grow as whatever your talent is you True. know so all right all right i like that all right Okay, so we see Heidi and Tim come into the room. Um, so Heidi's going to be there for all of it. Right. And, um, you know, they basically tell Kate, like, you're on the right track. You're going good. I feel like with her, since it's her set, maybe they don't show as much. Or maybe they just know, like, she's, like, one of the top people. We don't really need to spend as much time on her. Right. Um, and then we see Helen, you know, creating her look. And so all she has on there are the pants. And Heidi's like... You're just making pants and a jacket. Like, I've seen these pants and a jacket before. 
what's so special, you know? Yeah. And then Helen's like, dang, you're right, I'm only making pants. But I like the pants because she put a really cute little scrunch butt on them, which as a buttless person, I appreciate when I wear pants <laughs> or aerobic gear because it makes you look like you have a butt. You can have some of mine. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, all of you small butt girls know, or oh, even big butt girls, it just makes it accentuates your butt. The scrunch butt. Do you know what I'm talking about? I, I know exactly what you're talking about, but I've never put <laughs> no this comments? one. No, I don't. I I wear baggy. Pants. Okay. Oh, that's right. I, I like the other one better. But no, no, no. I get it. And and she also, like Helen mentioned the mesh. Right. But it, and I was thinking, ew. It, it, so was Heidi and Tim apparently. Like because I they were thinking... like, what are you what are you thinking with that? And she looked scared. Well, when I was thinking mesh, I was thinking of, you know, those, like, mesh cover-ups people wear on, over their bathing suits? Yes. That's what I was thinking she was going to do. And I like was like, a mesh poncho thing. Yes. Oh, and that's why I was terrible. like, ew, this is going to be so horrible, poor Helen. But she got it together. She really got it together. I mean, I didn't. Yeah. Okay. So, and then they go over to Justin, and, um, you know, he's making this sports bra top thing, and, you know, he's showing Heidi, like, the sketch of it, and she was like, she doesn't want the boobs up, or the, the cut of the top too high, right. because, you know, well, it's Heidi, Victoria's Secret, she loves showing a little cleavage, right. you know, so she basically was like, get it lower cut, get it sexier, um, and, I, you know, I think he, he always takes direction really well. And yeah. so I think that that's like his strongest point is whatever they tell him, he really, you know, improves yeah. on it. And then there's Karen. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, poor Karen. I felt so bad for her because, OK, I didn't completely hate the sports bra she was wearing. I mean, neon is on trend and they gave her neon fabric and she was making like a cute sports bra. Now, as a yogi, I like a cute sports bra and a legging to wear to the gym. So I didn't see what was so awful. Did you notice it was so awful? I mean, no, I didn't. I, I think that that outfit, I mean, Heidi said it was impossible. And I right. thought that was a bit far. Because, you know, like, you see what, you, what Karen drew, you see in many, many stores selling in many, yeah, many places. for a lot. For a lot of money. So, yeah, so I don't know if she saw something that we didn't from that sketch or she got something. But, yeah, like, the colors, they all use somewhat neon color. Not all, but, like, most of them use somewhat neon colors. And she could have toned it down. Yeah. Or just put pieces in other places. But she, Heidi said, I don't see anyone wanting to have this. Yeah, like, Martian crazy. But in the same sense, it's like some... some Sometimes, too, like, I've found that, like, so, so ugly equals cool. Is awesome. Right. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, the thought of it or the drawing of it might be like, ooh, that's going to be bad. But then once you see it, you're like, damn, I didn't yeah. know it was going to look like that. Exactly. And because, like, even thinking about that, I have these crazy Lululemon pants that are, like, hot pink. And they're, like, the pinkest pink. Like, it almost hurts your eyes to wear them. And I was like, eh, I don't know. But then I got them on and I was like, oh my God, I love these hot pink pants and I want to wear them everywhere now. And they look kind of ridiculous, but that's what I love about them. Right. So that's where it could have gone maybe, but yeah. we don't know because then she went the complete opposite direction where, you know, she had oversized everything, not tied anything. Right. So I thought that was kind of just a poor, like, I don't know. I think she just freaked out and went to the extreme. Yeah. Opposite. Well, I mean, it worked for her. She, she no, it didn't for Karen. No, 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 no. It, but she's she made oh, something. Oh, oh. I thought you said Kate for a second. Sorry. No, 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 not Kate. Kate yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Kate Karen. I loved. Yeah, and it was almost too like, uh, you know, I don't know if this was just coincidence, but there was a lot of Karen backstory tonight. There was. There was a lot, and it was almost like is she going home or is she went in. Right. Which you know, like I haven't noticed that in previous episodes, but there was a lot of Karen fluff there was maybe they just had to get it all in there maybe now or never yeah maybe something else happened and they needed filler fluffer maybe something. oh and then i also almost forgot and then we have alexandria who was making the poopy drop crotch pants i'm a fan i'm sorry i know i know we're gonna disagree on this one <laughs> but i am a fan of the poopy pants <laughs> but you can't do anything in them okay Okay, thinking about this. Look at Justin Bieber. What does all does he do? He does all his dancing in them. Okay, dancing. Not to open a, a Bieber 
conversation. Yeah. But like, you, they, there's a lot of Pink wears those pants to do what? To, her concerts. Okay, but concerts you can. You it, know what you're gonna do. But but, it, but like yoga, you're doing right. Crazy but a, but legs. a concert is a, is a perfect example of fashion and function. It's like you have to dance around and you have to do all this stuff, but you gotta look good doing it because people can't pay to see you and want you to look hot. I don't know. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my ground on this one. <laughs> I'm just I like the booby pants. I hate drop crotch pants. It's I find okay. It's so attractive because your whole silhouette is so weird. It looks like you have these little tiny stub legs and this whole long body. I, I like them. Like, and I got hips, and I don't <laughs> mind that. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh. I don't mind that it like accentuates that area because I like them. I'm gonna start like the no poopy pants. I'm gonna wear hashtag. poopy pants next week. Oh my I god! I got this no. great pair of G-Star poopy pants. Oh. I'm on Virginia's side. <laughs> They're so awful. Uh, you know why, it, girls? If no. you boys, but no. The, yeah, oh. but, right. Well, but for <laughs> girls, if you're if you wear the right poopy pants, but with a sexy top. <laughs> How do you wear poopy pants with a sexy top? Those two words should not go together, or all those words. I'm gonna. Um, so, what are you wearing tonight? Oh, I think I'm gonna wear my poopy <laughs> pants and my sexy top. Maybe some heels. <laughs> like, no. I will agree, though, with Michael Kors that those. Po- I mean, we'll get into it in the runway, but those pockets were. I mean, he was hysterical. Yes. I kind of love him. Oh, I, I kind of love, love Michael Kors. Kors. Yes. Yeah. He was a, the biggest jerk, but funniest. See, I didn't think he was a jerk at all. Especially no, no. when Braden was in. Was it Braden that yes. was like, I feel like he's going to rip them apart? I was like excited for it because he did it in like a smart, snarky kind of way, like very different from the Zach Posen, I'm better than you way. Okay, I, I do see that, but yeah. I still love Zach. I mean, I love Zach too, but the way he critiques sometimes <laughs> kind of is like terrible. It makes well, people feel like, like crap. I, I'm Zach Posen, you suck. <laughs> Pretty much. And yeah. Michael Kors, I think, is more of a household name than Zach Posen. Yeah. And he kind of made light of it and kind of was just like, really with the poopy pants? Pleasure yourself pockets? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So anyway, we will get to it. We'll start wrapping this up. But, um, okay, so we basically see everybody go home. Kate basically tells everybody, okay, time to go. We see Dom and Justin get their little extra hour. And then the morning comes, and we see Karen with her model, and her model is like, you need to change these pants. Basically telling her, your design sucks. It's unflattering. Make some shorts. Also, though, like, that could have been edited. It could have been her being like, do you have any suggestions of what I could do? And she could be like, you need to make these shorts. But then you see her go in the thing and she's like, don't tell me what to do with my outfit. Then she, she went into that. She did. Which I can understand. But also, I mean, I'm sure Amanda would have a little bit more of a better idea. Sometimes models do, like, they see so much of this stuff. They can, and with their body type, they can say, hey, this might look better. Yeah. And I, I feel like that's a very, very fine line to walk both sides and you know neither you know like, like I said Amanda, that'd be a good question for Amanda but um, you know it, it is I'm sure some designers do want that input but then some you know don't because it's just like, going to make it more care. complicated yeah sometimes you got to stick to the plan and sometimes not maybe because you know I know on previous project runways they've had where their model sticks with them the whole time and they've kind of built up that working relationship but on this season they have different models every time it seems like yeah so for the most part, they probably yeah. don't have that same. Hey, what right. do you think of this? Right. Should I make shorts or pants? Totally. Okay. So anyway, let's go to. Oh, one quick thing too yes. before we go leave ahead. the workroom is I have to say, being a sneaker fan like I am, the sneakers they had. I feel like you know when it comes to athletics, sneakers play a part in tying the outfit together. Oh, absolutely. And they had really cool sneakers from New Balance. Yeah. You know, like and and it's funny that that like really ugly awesome thing that I found. I have this pair of New Balance that are lime green and like safety orange and white and gray. And I looked at them and I was like, those are so ugly i need them now yeah it no, was it's like so that true yeah i love tennis shoes like i am a little bit of a tennis shoe junkie mm-hmm. i don't know why i just love to match them to my outfits when i go to the gym yeah. i've kind of got matchy matchy <laughs> not so matchy matchy but i do love when my shoes match my outfit <laughs> i mean yeah it's a whole part of it's it it's horrible it's no a, i love it i'm a sne- i have a i have 
I have lots of sneakers. I have a problem. They're just so fun. Yeah. And the the louder, more ridiculous they are, the better they are, I feel like. Yeah, totally. Okay. So anyways, I do like that you pointed out because I was thinking when they said accessorize with the wall, I was like, what are they going to accessorize as they're showing like the Bagley Mishka shoes? Yeah. You know, I was like, are they going to be coming down in heels? Because that's weird. But totally weird. No. Yeah. They didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyway, getting to the runway. Um, so as you said, we had... Um, our special guest this week is Michael Kors, who it's nice to have him back because he definitely has, you know, a Nina, like they have a good relationship, I feel like, yeah. with all of them. And he definitely rounds them out because I just feel like sometimes when it's these guest judges that are just actresses or whatever that aren't really into fashion, I feel like... What is what are you saying? You know, I agree. Like sometimes I don't. I, I'm wondering what the criteria is for them to pick. You know, guest judges. Like I understand Kelly Osbourne, and I understand all this, but um, you know, it's it's definitely. Well, I mean, Kelly Osbourne's on Fashion Police. That's so. what I'm saying. Like I understand yeah, yeah, her, yeah. and okay. like some people I understand, but like some of the random actresses, like we love their opinion. They're super fun, but why? Like when they had Jordana Brewster on from like her movie was coming out for Fast and Furious Six. I don't think I've ever seen her anything other fashion stuff. Right. So yeah. So anyway, it's good to have another person that's really in the fashion. No. Doing it, yeah. Here, here, okay. So we're just going to go down the list. So we see Kate. She had this amazing red and gray jacket that I loved. It seems so versatile. Dope. Loved it. I really, really want I that want jacket. It. Kate, if you have an extra, send it to us. Yeah, me, me too this time. Send one for her staff too because I wouldn't let her have the t-shirt. That <laughs> neck, like the hoodie neck, like that slouch neck. Oh, it's so yummy. I have a couple hoodies like that. And it's so, like so many body types could wear that. And it would right. be a good cover up for anything like going to the gym, going to the grocery store, just right. going anywhere. Perfect. Right. Okay. So then we have Brayden. Um, I did not like the like peppermint swirl on his pants. I didn't like it. I, it felt disconnected to me, the top and bottom. What I would have really liked to see with the color blocking was a line, like one line that went across both legs. Like so an like, asymmetrical. Like an asymmetrical line and like the color flew, flowed from one leg to the next. You that know what I mean? Cool. Like I was really shocked that no one did Nobody. that. They all did the V. Yeah, they all did or somewhat the, similar the rather than thing. doing like a V across like both legs or, you know, something like that. But yeah, his, his just didn't, it didn't work for me tonight, Braden. Sorry. Okay, then we see Alexandria with her drop crouch pants. Love it. And um, <laughs> Nina said that it was absolutely impossible Yeah. to work out, biking, yoga, anything. Yeah. Impossible. Well, you know, I like the crop drop, the, the drop crotch, but I, uh, I don't know that hers was so successful. The proportions and the pockets were ridiculous. And, you know, Zach even pointed out, like, you've already done a drop crotch. You're right. not impressing me with a drop crotch. Like, right. That was, yeah, that's true. Okay, then we see Helen. Um, I really like the leggings and um, the jacket. I, Nina, she just pointed out, you have a jacket that's covering my ass and my thighs. Perfect. Like, what girl doesn't want that? I mean, I don't necessarily want, that's not the reason I want that jacket, but I get it. Okay, so anyway, back to, um, so then we have Dom. Um, I really like the detailing on her back. I thought it was really cool. The racer back. I mean, every girl wanting to do anything athletic, like Heidi said, showing off those muscles. Right. You know, looks really good. Sorry, I'm like doing no. my bench press. Yeah. Imagining it. Um, and so Dom, Justin, and Jeremy were safe. Um, Jeremy's kind of looked like Laker girls to me. I wasn't really that big of a fan. Yeah. Um, and then Ken's was the most boring thing I've ever seen. It looked like something yeah. I could find at Walmart. Not anything wrong with Walmart, but like they're supposed to be making something high fashion-y, athletic. Right. Yeah. No. And uh, I feel like, and then we, and then after Kent, we have well, Karen, and she had the. I mean, I liked it, even though it was very comfy fitting. I thought she could have designed something else. I've seen that sweatpants sweatsuit at my grandpa's house. Karen's? Yes. It was, that the, was black the baggy one? <laughs> yeah. I like that. I mean. I know, but you've seen it before. It wasn't nothing new. I've seen it before, new. but it was good proportions and it was good. It had a good hand. Like, it had a good hang. Okay. Anyway. And then we have Alexander. Um, Weird. Yeah. I didn't like it. I, yeah. I wasn't yeah. a fan. So they tell us that Brayden, Dom, Justin, and Jeremy are safe. Right. So that leaves us with Kate, Alexander, Helen, Ken, and Karen. Right. And Karen, Ken, and... Well, it was weird because they said some people we liked and we didn't like. Heidi liked some. Heidi didn't like others. 
it was kind of a weird way that they were doing it. Yeah, the judges were usually they, were they all are yeah, usually they all feel the same way and they were divided, which was interesting. I like that. I liked seeing that because it was very like, oh, okay, cool. They they don't just stick together. Right. I did so, I did appreciate that. And um it was crazy too. Ken was the only dude in Jeopardy. Yeah. He but I kind of knew that yeah. it wasn't good. So we get down to the bottom. Or do we want to do the top first? We'll do the top. So we have, I was really hoping it was going to be Kate because I wanted to wear that jacket, but it ended up being Helen. Right. My second love. So I'm a yay. Helen fan. She's my number one. I want to go on and find that jacket. So if you guys want that jacket, you can probably go on to newbalance.com and get it. Or projectronway.com. There's Project probably a link. Runway. Yeah. And then we have Ken and Karen in the bottom. I really wished it was Ken because I, I just, I'm sick of his attitude. But unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to Karen. We did say goodbye to Karen. All right, so, so next week. Yeah, it looks like next week there's also a change. Yeah, it looks like everybody sucks, and they're going to have to redo something. Yeah. Which I like. I like that they're just kind of like, okay, y'all didn't do anything good. Let's, instead of just saying you did okay, yeah, make it better. Make it yeah. work. So. I like that, too. Very, very exciting. We'll see what happens. Any, anything, other Not, predictions? Or I mean, I like Karen. She's won three challenges. I feel like... Um, Karen, uh, I mean, Helen, and I like Kate, and, you know, we'll see what happens. All right. Well, we will see you guys next week. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. You can follow me at Virginia Reina. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at I-A-M-S-T-E-F-Z. Thanks, guys. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.